want to solder but don't have the necessary tools, not a problem. We have prepared a list of top 20 tools for soldering from Toolboom online store. USB soldering iron. Great solution at reasonable price. Its power is sufficient enough for most domestic soldering purposes. Its main advantage is portability, since it uses a USB cable for charging. Gas-powered soldering iron. A convenient portable device for simple soldering on the go. It can be used both as a soldering iron or as a blowtorch. Temperature-controlled soldering iron. Its 70 or 80 watt power makes it perfect for both regular and lead-free soldering. Ability to adjust the temperature makes it even more versatile in various types of soldering. More expensive models, such as Good PX201, have a wide range of soldering tips. Soldering station. As compared to regular soldering iron, it allows to more accurately adjust the temperature of the soldering tip. It's also equipped with thermal stabilization system. Induction soldering stations from Quick are worth a special mention, since it takes them just a few seconds to heat up the tip to the set temperature. Hot air rework station. This is a universal device for all sorts of electronic repairs, from regular soldering to reballing of small PCBs. Some models support installation of additional equipment, such as hot tweezers. Just as regular soldering stations, hot air rework stations have models for lead-free soldering, which use HECO T12 soldering tips. They heat up very quickly and are very easy to use. Soldering tips, which can be separated into three groups. HECO 900M standard tips, regular soldering tips, and HECO T12 standard tips. You have to choose which ones you need based on the type of soldering iron. Soldering iron tip cleaners. Cleaners made of brass shavings and special sponges made of pure cellulose are used for cleaning soldering tips from oxides and solder excess. Solder. There are lead solders such as POS61 and lead-free solders. BGA-based is an interesting and practical solution for quick and high-quality wire and small PCB soldering. Rosin is a thing of the past. There are many different types of fluxes for any type of soldering. They don't need to be cleaned off the surface after soldering and are very easy to use. Desoldering pump. It's very useful for removing excess solder and desoldering PCB components, especially circuits in DIP packages. Desoldering wick. It's used for removing excess solder as well, but it's more accurate than desoldering pump. It's also very useful for removing excess solder from soldering PCBs and removing small microchips. Insulation pad. Great solution for electronic repairs and soldering. It can withstand temperatures up to 500 degrees Celsius and has many pockets to keep all your tools handy. Soldering stand. This is probably the second most used tool after the actual soldering iron which you will use in your soldering. Therefore, it must fit your soldering iron perfectly and be easy to use. Tweezer sets. You will definitely need these for mounting and removing elements while soldering. Vacuum tweezers are extremely useful for soldering PCBs. Soldering tools. Additional tools for soldering PCB components. Mountain circuit board elements, removing excess solder and flux after soldering. PCB holder, or basically your third hand. This is a very useful accessory. Use its crocodile clips to fix your PCB, wires or other small components in place and free up both of your hands for convenient soldering. Rework platform. Another useful additional tool for soldering and electronic repairs, as well as BGA reballing. Use the stand to hold your hot air gun, USB microscope or some other tool. USB microscope. Very useful soldering tool, especially for soldering SMD components. Service centers often use these to show their clients what broke in the motherboard of their device and what needs to be fixed. Multimeter. It will definitely be useful in both soldering and your day-to-day -day life. When picking a multimeter for soldering, definitely pick the one that allows measuring resistance, capacitance, induction, as well as running diode and transistor tests. Cutting pliers and wire strippers. These are used for cutting and stripping wires and allow you to quickly prepare the wires for soldering without too much hassle. Visit our online store to check out the full stock of soldering equipment.